You are watching Shoutcraft, exciting entry-level esports commentary with myself, Total Biscuit. And here we go with match number three. Hapro is going to be spawning on Zelnaga Cowards up north again, playing as Yellow Zerg and as Purple Protoss. Purple, I'm sorry, pink, far different color. Huck is spawning down south. Huck has taken the last two matches. If he wins this next match, he absolutely guarantees, at least today with the two matches, that EU will not be taking home the cup necessarily. Mm, yes. It's always nice to have a bit of competition, folks. It whets the appetite. And I'm thirsty for blood in this one. Hopefully you guys are as well. Huck opens up with your everyday pylon. E I'm sorry, even if you are Huck, you can't open up with anything else. It's just, it, you might be special, you might be <laughs> uber skilled, you might have some crazy strats, but you're still going to build a pylon and it's probably going to be on 9 supply. Now, you see, this is my favorite map in the game, Zelnaga Caverns. I just think that this is an extremely well-balanced map. There are so many routes of attack and so many ways to defend on this map, especially with the natural expansions. I say it every single time that I'm ever on this map. Hey, Pro calling a prepare <laughs> for another forge push. Currently, Huck is already in the main of Hey, Pro, trying to steal some more minerals with a probe, it looks like. Will he actually get away with some this time? Oh, uh, you never know. He's done that all three he, matches. It's, it's a taunt, and to be fair, it, it, you might as well take them while you're there. You're taking away five minerals that would have otherwise been mined in the main by your opponent. Why not? It seems like such a minuscule advantage, but it's an advantage you can take. Forge. Oh, Huck! Uh, hey, Pro probably shouldn't have baited him this time. And once again, Hey, Pro going for the fast expansion. Oh, look at that! Uh, he tries to block off the ramp there. Doesn't quite happen. No, he's not going to be able to block up with that pylon. Will he cancel it, though? It doesn't look like he has any plans to cancel that. And why not? That forge is on the way. That's just an early pylon to be able to place those cannons. And now, really, it looks like hey, pro has got to be careful. The second pylon's on the way. Two-thirds complete. Forge just finished. Perfect timing. Oh, he's going to be able to drop some Hawk cannons. Hawk is giving this guy the runaround. I'm sorry, he is. That's exactly what he's doing. He's playing mind games with him earlier. Dumps the pylon down. Cancels it. Gives him the runaround deliberately to give his pylon a little bit more time to to build and now Hook's just building a little maze right here for these drones to run down three photon cannons coming up cancels one replaces it in another area look at what he's doing right there he just cancels them as soon as they take sufficient Eight. damage Nine. Uh, this is unbelievable He's up to nine drones have been pulled off of the mineral line. Just look at the mineral line in the main of Haypro. There's nothing mining. They're all trying to defend out here to get rid of these photon cannons. And there's just too many of them. He's not going to have enough drones to be able to kill all this. Two probes there now. Hatch has finished. And the first cannons will be completing soon. One complete trying to take care of a few drones. There's the second. Now he's just going to start losing drones. He needs to pull back. Yeah, it's... Lost I already two lost more. it. I just, I don't know why Hey Pro would make the same mistake twice. I really don't. I, I don't know. It, maybe he just didn't believe that his opponent would actually do that again. But no, never ever underestimate Huck's propensity for doing ridiculous things like this. And he's doing it so well. I mean, look at that. One, two, three, four, five cannons right now. And what you see, Hey Pro is going to try and counterattack. I would think. Ignore that entirely. Again, you know, that's a loss of a hatchery. Yes, but Huck just invested whatever. What's the cost of that? You're looking at what seven. 750 minerals. At yep, least. 750 minerals, plus the pile on that's 850, plus the fact they just didn't have a gateway. It's a big investment. Can a Pro actually counterattack successfully? That's what he's looking to do. There's a single cannon up in the base. The gateway's up. It doesn't look like a complete block, though. Going to be able to run the line with 10. No, it is. He's going to attempt to. Photon Cannon is at the top. Is it a oh, complete wall-off? It is, a complete, it is wall a complete wall off. Oh, and, and, yeah. Th so again, he there you go. It's Hook anticipating exactly what's going to happen. He knows that his opponent's going to get aggressive after that, after losing that, trying to take hold of the econ temporary, very temporary economic advantage he's got because Hook spent so much on those cannons initially. So it's like, well, I'm just going to wall off then. There you go. Neutralized. That's it. Yeah, this is looking really bad for Haypro already. He has the small group of Zerglings just chilling out at the bottom of the ramp, but this is just going to be slowly choking them So the longer this game goes on. As you said, the initial pressure of those cannons, and with how many cannons are there right now, there is no way that Haypro is going to take this natural expansion anytime soon with any unit count that he's going to be able to bring in. He would have to focus basically all of the Zerglings he would have been able to build up to this point in the matchup in order to even think of taking down all of those 
Oh, absolutely. And then Hawk just wanders in with a couple of stalkers in a sentry and says, hi, your base is dead. What are you going to do? Absolutely nothing. Therein lies the problem. That's why it's such a devastating strategy. And the prediction that his opponent would attempt to counterattack so quickly was entirely accurate. The wall off works perfectly well right here. No way those Zerglings are getting in. Now he's got a Stargate on the way just for the sake of having it. Wow. And if you have a look at the economy right now, <laughs> it's just no contest. Hook is 27 probes versus 18 drones. It was even worse before that. This is after Hey Pro has had some time to prepare. Double gateway now coming up at the natural expansion of Hey Pro. Wow. That's just incredibly aggressive there by Huck. As you said, Huck is just really playing mind games with Haypro right now, and these two gateways really could seal the deal. There's no Cybernex core on the map yet, I believe. Did he just drop one? No, he did not. So we're not going to have warp potential, but he is going to be able to possibly build up a little bit of a secret zealot and stalker army, I would guess, up here with all of these cannons, because nothing's going to be able to get near these cannons. Got, he can just build an army yeah, near Yeah, he's got it. a variety pack coming on right now. He's got a void ray on its way, and he's got two gateways coming up. He's going to be able to apply pressure from multiple vectors. Not that he really needs to, but hey, it just gives him that addition dominance and right now he basically has complete map control let's be honest he does he's already got the natural expansion yes. of his opponent he can range from there with forces that are conjured pretty much out of nowhere he does now have a Simon X core he's got warp gate tech up so he just has so many options he can warp straight in everything just gets converted to warp gate and now is the time when he's got to bring the hammer down and honestly I don't see what hey pro is going to do about that I don't know if Haypro is going to be able to do anything. He just finishes Roach Warren. There are two queens in the main to defend and a small group of Zerglings, but that is it. More Zer more Roaches are going to be hatching shortly, and that could be play a huge factor in an initial attack, which is happening here now. Huck is trying to push in, but those Roaches are about three-quarters complete. They'll hatch at good timing and probably be able to take out these stalkers. Oh, they will, certainly, but here's the problem. Huck's going to Void Ray, and once those Queens go down, that's True. all of the anti-air defense gone. One Queen down, two Two queen down. Now the Void Ray could do whatever the hell it pleases. That's it. That's it. Absolutely. There's no question about that. I don't know how much longer it's going to go on for, but honestly, now that he has that one Void Ray up and there's no anti-air defense, Hey Pro is absolutely doomed. No question about that. And yeah, you don't see this very often, folks, so enjoy it while you can. Just look at that natural expansion of Hey Pro. Look at how many cannons he's got there. Look at the little base he's got going on. Yeah, you don't normally see a forward base get this strong, and Huck, again, has just been dominating. That Void Raid, now two of them going to town in the main of Hey Pro. He has a queen on the way. It's about to come out, but there we go. Focus firing on that queen. Both of those Void Rays are charged to level three. Queen is done. That's the match. Yeah, there's no question. And he, he even left one Void Ray at the gateway of his base. You know, I... If I didn't know better, I would say Huck is basically Professor X. He is the Professor X of StarCraft. <laughs> he successfully predicts not only the future, but he reads his opponent's mind, always has the counter available exactly when he needs it, and he makes it look so freaking effortless. And I think that's why I love watching the guy. Huck just, just absolute dominating mind games that entire matchup. He takes it quite easily 3-0 against Haypro. 